was it like for you to come back to a city, a franchise you knew so well, but a lot really had changed since you were in the It was easy. Um, you know, I've been in Indy pretty much my whole life and grew up here, so organizationally, everybody that works here is pretty much the same. Um, so to get the opportunity to come back, it was it's easy kind of to like transition in because of the relationship that I've already had with a lot of the people. So um, it, was, it was a fun opportunity. You had a lot of success in your career. You were on a very good team, but what was it like when you got to call or learn um, that you'd be coming back to your team? My phone blew up with all my family and friends because I think they were excited. They're probably more excited than me because like to get to come back home in front of them and play was something cool, but to get the, like, the love and respect from the fans from day one till even now, and it's, it's awesome. It, it shows what like, you know, being a good teammate, being a good person, human being, um, loving the city that you live in, um, that's what it's all about. I'm sure all these guys in the locker room, they know about you, they know of you, they played against you, they know what you've accomplished. Was it challenging at all to join a team as late as you did and try to establish yourself as a leader? Not really. I think it became natural. Um, I think I was already kind of bred to do that from previous locations I've been at. Tony, Tim, Manu, Coach Pop, learning what being a, a professional is and a leader is. And come back here to being a veteran leader, going to Cleveland and learning how to be a leader from like a guy like LeBron. Um, and then going to Milwaukee to be a leader again. I think it was, it was already kind of like I, I went through my school phases and now I graduated to to be able to become like kind of like the teacher, the big brother type thing. So it was, it was an easy transition. The leadership role obviously is the most significant one for you, but you feel like you show in New York that you still got a fair amount left in the tank. As Pacer, you always hate New York, you know, like, Spike Lee is a good kind of friend of mine, but I know Reggie is also a good friend of mine. And you, you, you gotta beat anybody. You gotta beat the Knicks. Um, anybody will say that, but um, I don't know. Like, you never know what the future holds. You know, um, you never know if this is like my last go around or not. So, kind of go out with a bang is my big thought process. You know, that is my last game. I can always say that. I went out as a winner. But you hope it's not your last game, right? I mean, for sure. Um, you know, your diners just went through 20. Um, what a hell of an accomplishment. Uh, that's different. You know, if I can if I can beat that in my hometown, like he did in his hometown, that would, that would be a hell of a story for me, for, for just my life, for my kids, for who I am as a person for the city of Indianapolis to have a hometown kid play the most years in the NBA back home, it would be, it'd be awesome. I ask about Tyrese, mm -hmm. look at him, what do you see? I don't know, like Tyrese is good, man. Like all-star already, so you can't say all-star, but um, a guy that can put a team on his back. Uh, he's fun to be around. I mean, super fun to be around, like the way he carry himself. Uh, the way he can articulate the game and manipulate the game with his passing skills and scoring. I mean, he's, he's fun to be around. Like, you got a guy that, that that young and who embraces the challenge night in, night out, and takes it and puts it on his shoulders and, and wears it proud. I think that's what you take from him and, and what I'm happy to be a part of. In terms of playing style, in terms of I think success initially, uh, right out of the gates in his first season. Does Andrew Nembhard remind you of a younger you at all? He was probably a lot better than me when I was younger. Um, he's good, you know, like talking to him and, and you know, learning a little bit more about him, but seeing how he plays the game and uh, staying on him to be aggressive and not be so passive like a lot of people used to do me when I was here, when I was younger. But like, he has a very high upside to him, and I think he's going to be special for us for a minute. You can see the emotion you exude when you talk about the fans. What would your message be directly to those fans who have been with you from the, the Broad Ripple and the IUPUI days and Stint One and are 
are still here riding with you a little bit later. I don't know, like, you always just say thank you. You know, they don't have to. Um, it's who I am. I've never changed since day one. Um, I wear Indiana on my sleeve and on my heart all day, so, you know, thanks for embracing me as a hometown kid, and I love them all.